Hey guys, I got myself a $7 um, pineapple core from Amazon and I'm going to just do a quick review, unboxing and stuff and try it out on a real pineapple. So I picked a pineapple that, you know, from the grocery store that was pretty ripe and it's very yellow already, so it's pretty fun. It came in as this normal box um, when I got it from Amazon, it's like seven bucks. I'll leave a link below. This is probably the cheaper ones. It was like a $7 one, uh, but it's a pineapple slicer and core, which is pretty cool. I guess if people are doing like the um, lot, a party of, of drinks and stuff and really need to cut a lot of pineapples this will come in handy really fast the instructions are actually very simple you basically put this together cut the top off and run this you know this screw nail the screw saw like tool right into the pineapple and cores it as well as you know slices into like one centimeter you know rings so pretty interesting um overall it's pretty cool you can see the tiny little welds on there which is nice uh Built pretty okay, I guess. I mean, it's not going to take a lot of strength to actually you know, core something. Watch out, these things are actually very sharp. So is the sharp, the, so is the saws on the sides, as well as the blade on the edge of this thing that cuts the actual pineapple. Um, the handle is actually pretty nifty. It's a quick release handle. There's two buttons on the side to release it. You just basically shove this thing in. And, you know, when I first did this, basically I realized there was some plastic that came out. So you might, I might want to wash this first, and that's exactly what we do next. We basically wash it and stuff. You just have to be careful of these sharp edges all around. Overall, it's pretty interesting. Okay made. For seven bucks, I didn't really expect anything more. But seeing that there's still like some manufacturing dust and grease, I decided to wash this whole thing first before, you know, using it on a pineapple. Normally, I think that's what you should do after getting any new product. You should probably wash it if you could, especially if it's for cooking or something like that. Because you never know, it could be like you know particles or anything else, or manufacturing dust or oil grease. You don't really want to do that. Just be careful; it's really sharp. So what I did is just use the sponge, you know, soaked it up, and just rinse it all away. Make sure it's nice and clean. Also, the handle too. Also, rinse the inside in case there's any you know leftover dust or particles in there. And just make sure it's all clean before I start working on my pineapple. Very cool. Can't wait. Anyways, rinse, rinse some more. Just make sure nothing's in there. Now for the pineapple, um, just get a blade. You could get, uh, as long as it's relatively sharp, you, just, you have to pierce that armor. I will cut about one inch over. It's nice and ripe because you can see that's golden and you can actually smell pineapple of it. That's when you know a pineapple is pretty, pretty ripe. And you will basically take about an inch and pierce into the skin, cut all around to break the skin and chop that top off. I'm keeping about an inch of top there so that I can actually grow it later. And I'll show you later in another video. Anywho. Normally what I do is I just take this, cut this in quarters or even six pieces and just basically, you know, take off the core and start eating it. But we're gonna try out this tool, so let's do it. Plug in the quick release handle and then I'm gonna align it with the core. And so it's right in the center of that core saw and push it in a little. Then I'm gonna just turn um, kind of clockwise to actually cut this thing, or clockwise to actually cut this thing in. So it centers right in and you want to make sure you're centered so you actually get the most meat you can and also core it right in the center. So this is designed for probably, you know, if you ever had pineapple in a can, it looks exactly like this where it's like several rings in a can. It's basic, I'm sure like if they did this in, um, you know, they averaged out how many pineapples it was and they got a general size that, you know, would probably not hit skin. So this is pretty interesting, this coring device. I just did it all the way to I felt it, you know, hit near the bottom. And then I basically, you know, twisted a little and got, got myself a clean um, cutting board right next to it. Of course, I could just cut it on this other cutting board, but I didn't know what I was thinking. But anyways, basically you squeeze a little and then you could feel the blade on the side and just slowly wiggle, wiggle, wiggle to dislodge it. And there's a little suction, so you're basically pulling it at the core and also at the side, so there's a bit of suction. But if, as long as you twist and turn it and pull it out, it comes out pretty well and pretty simply. So, wow, look at all those pineapples. It's basically a, a little more than a whole can of pineapples. So, this pineapple cost me, what, about $3, you know, at Costco, and you can probably just get it, you know, uh, it's about 3 bucks anywhere, actually, in California. But you can probably see it cheaper in some other, other parts in America. But... All you do is uh, take a blade and just cut it up down the side and you have all these pineapple slices already cut for you, which is pretty darn awesome. Again, be careful of, you know, there's of the blades and stuff. It is sharp. But look at that. You could use that for drinks now or, or like I put pina colada in there or whatever, but it makes for, for a pretty good cup uh, as long as you take off that stem. 
So anywho, I'm gonna put that down and look at that. It smells like from the can, except it's fresh. It's not full of sugar and sugar syrup and stuff like that. It's just pure pineapple and it is super sweet and super fragrant right now. So, but if you look at it, it's, you know, that's a pretty good cup. You can probably use that for drinks. Now I'm gonna cut this in half. The reason why is because I wanna see how much uh, we actually, you know, still have there. So normally when I cut it, I usually either skin it or I basically cut it in quarters and cut and basically cut it down. But this is pretty neat. The core is right, it fits around the core and it took out all the core stuff, the stuff you really can't eat very easily. It's way too much fiber. Um, and I basically put all the sliced ones inside. I already ate half, by the way. It was so sweet that I just started eating it and I already ate half of it, but I put the rest in Tupperware. But as you can see, there's about a centimeter for this um, pineapple that was left. And there's still some on the bottom as well, so you can always take a knife and just cut that and eat that as well. But overall, it's very convenient to use this uh, cutter. And for seven bucks, I'll leave the link below. It's actually not bad at all. It's actually pretty awesome. Now, my next video, I'm gonna basically tell you how to pot this thing and basically grow your own pineapple tree, which is pretty nice. Anyways, guys, please like, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. Please click that bell notification button for more Costco, no, I'm sorry, for more uh, DIYs and also how-tos and product reviews of these fun things. Anyways, see you next time. Look forward for that pineapple video coming up. See you next time. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.